Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number 32 of the Whitlings Prototype. I was considering it last night, thinking about what I was going to do next for the cube fader, and I realized that I had fallen into one of my most classic traps. I am over solving the problem. There is no reason to hide cubes yet. We don't have any levels that are complex enough to require that feature. So I don't know why I spent the last two days working on it. <clears throat> I was thinking far into the future and trying to solve problems that don't even exist yet. And that is a very classic mistake. It's super easy to do because you have these plans. You're like, this is how I want the game to work. But <clears throat> by, so by trying to solve this problem without the problem existing, I have no way to know if it's a good solution. I'm solving an imaginary problem that I think will show up in the future, and it's just a, it's not an efficient use of time. <clears throat> so instead, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just turn off my relevant cube filter. It's nice that we have the fading working. Oh. Who else is in charge of that? I think it's our cube selector. Cube filter, yeah, let's just turn that off too. Okay, yeah, much better. <clears throat> it's nice that I spent a little bit of time getting the fading working and attacking the problem in a basic way, but I realized that all these crazy solutions I was coming up with um, don't solve anything. So the current plan is to get our world flip working. And I think that's a much better use of our time. <clears throat> I don't actually have any levels that require world flip, but this is the camera work section, and so I like to do that. Because once we get the world flipped, the player can see all six faces of the cube with the right camera manipulation. So, let's talk about different ways to solve this. Let's use this solid object here. So I'm looking down at a 45 degree angle. And I want to see the other side. I've got two options. I guess the simplest option is just to flip the flip the entire world, right? <clears throat> but I don't want to flip the world. If I flip the world, the space box is going to stay in the same place. And I want the I want the camera to actually, you know, nope. Actually, it's going to have to do two things. It's going to have to hopefully do a spherical interpolation around the target. And I'm not sure how I'm going to deal, maybe a 180 degree rotation as well. What do you say in Pale Moon? No, not today. Ask later. <clears throat> so this is another two step translation, or two-step ease. And I don't really want the player to be able to do anything else while this ease is happening. So, I think we're going to need some extra logic to make sure that doesn't happen. So let's think about what variables we need. I know we're going to be doing work in the camera controller. And as always, instead of interpolating, let's snap it, right? And we'll just throw some extra stuff in here, up arrow. So if this happens, we want to... I guess just flip the camera offset transform, but 
but I'm worried about this again. Doing a 180 degree flip is not going to preserve the, it's not going to preserve the camera offset transform. So maybe, let's just test it out. <clears throat> camera offset transform dot up equals vector three dot up. Then we're going to rotate it How do we want to rotate this? Where's our camera offset transform? I think we want to try rotating it around the Z because the camera is coming out from the Z. <clears throat> And then otherwise, we're going to rotate it by negative 180. And let's put some prints in here. Print top view to bottom view. And then bottom view to top view. <clears throat> and once we're done with this camera offset transform, let's calculate the offset direction Ooh. and probably cube rotation direction transform so let's just see what happens there it's the up arrow oh So we've got the <clears throat> offset direction. We know which way we want to transfer the cubes. Now we need to change the camera. So we'll just do this one. Set the camera position equal to the target plus the offset. <clears throat> Oh, and we're going to need a look at as well. Tell it to look at the target position. It feels pretty goofy. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that works. Wow. Oh, let's check if rotating cubes still works. Yep. Not quite. Um, <clears throat> that's actually really hard to tell. And something seems very weird about this angle. Maybe it's just that I'm used to looking at this.
See, it's very strange to me. Hmm. <laughs> Why does that just feel bad? I have an idea. Let's make. Oh, geez. Let's make a few more cubes. How about now? I mean, this does look like a pretty cool level, but I can't really can't like see enough. See, this is the kind of level where we would want our camera to be happy. And this feels this feels so alien to me. What's the difference? It's almost like the angle is off somehow. Let's take a look at our end eases. Distance is target distance. Just set the rotation, set the position. Are we doing a look at in the rotate? Yes, we are. Good, good. <clears throat> I can't imagine this would change the feel. But I'm just trying to make sure the code is a one-to-one -one ratio. Whoa! That's wrong. I guess our target distance is zero at first. Whoa, that's weird. Ah! <sighs> Um, cube offset transform. So this is coming from the middle of the cube. Let's watch it in the scene. Well, we know something's wrong with our zoom there. And we are still keeping the Z axis, which it's happy about. Okay, so zooming on the bottom once we've transitioned is fine.
What if we tried doing a negative 180 and 180 here? I wonder if that would fix our rotation. Oh, geez. It's almost like our rotation is, I don't know, this should be, down should be to the right, I feel. Uh-huh, here's an idea. Let's just delete all of these extra cubes and see what a flat world looks like. That should give us a better idea. Dang it, okay, we need to fix that. You know what flip should do? Flip should not go like this. Flip should go like this, right? We're flipping it on a plane here, 180 degrees. We were just rotating the forward of the camera 90 degrees downward. But I want to do a full flip of 180 on the X, not the Z. Let's try that. Oh, <laughs> let's go back to here. And these are still So I do believe that our camera is switching correctly. But this still feels really weird. Whoa. What's going on down there? Whoa. Hey, buddy. Oh, is this just a straight path face that's hanging out in the world? How long have you been there? <laughs> Good grief. So, like, what's the difference? <clears throat> I really can't figure out why they look different.
Hmm. At least the top to bottom view is working. We're rotating one way and then rotating back. So that way we're not stomping on our cube rotation directions. But this feels so right. And this just looks so much different. Let's print the camera's position after this. And let's make sure that we're using camera offset transforms. So this could be part of the problem with the rotation stuff. Forward and up. Divided by two. That makes sense, getting the average of a vector. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's okay. I guess it's okay. It'll look much better once we transition. But let's talk about what the transition needs to look like now. Because this one was like a 90 degree rotation and a 180 degree spin. This one's going to need both 180 degree rotation and 180 degree spin. But I don't want to do it all at once, right? I think that would be pretty gross. So. I want my. I want my camera, okay, let's name these. Rotate around cube and spin on axis. So my rotate around cube, I want to start fast and slow down and then Stop immediately and go to a slow rotation, not zero, but some. And maybe we don't want a sharp, maybe something like this. So this is slow, this is fast. And for my I don't remember what I called this. I knew I should have written it down. <laughs> Acronyms are of no use if you cannot remember them. For spinning on axis, hey, there we go. I want it to look something like this. So if I have these two graphs together, it's going to go fast and then slow down. And then halfway through, it's going to whoop, do a quick flip and then continue the rest of the way. I think that's a nice way to break down the two transitions. And if we get the curve looking right, um, well, by using a curve, we can just test it and keep doing it until it feels right.
Ooh, you know what I want to try? Let's just try this. I want to see if our camera offset transform gets boggled. So blue is going towards the camera, red is to the left. And we'll flip. Yep. So now it's not rotating at all. And the reason I'm checking that is because I'm a little bit worried. If we go from here to here, that's fine. I guess we could go back by rotating negatively. But I just think it would be cooler if we had this like 360 degree stop. Stop. And so, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. So I'm just going to make it, I'm going to try to make it work with the back and forth. And then, maybe if it doesn't feel great, we'll do the extra math to get this other hemisphere. Or hemicircle, I guess you could call it. And before I forget, this is rotate around cube. And this is something of angle. No. Shape of axis. Rotation around cube and I came up with it twice now, so it's got to be a decent acronym. Rotation around cube, and then what this is doing, this is rotating around axis. Why not just call this ROA? Oh, that would be RAA. So we'll start with the rotate around cube first. And we want to make sure that there's no other rotation going on. So we'll keep this. No rotators, um, no zoom. And no translate teaser. In fact, let's move this all. Oh, no, end. So I'm going to say is easing at all is equal to 
all of these booleans ORed together. And not is easing at all. <clears throat> so if we're not easing at all, you know what's interesting is we have this rotate easer. Can we use it? Is it safe to use? Is it wise? I would say it is not wise because this graph is going to have its own graph. So um so we've got our flip rotation spin on axis <laughs> soa we got it Okay, that makes me happy. It's little things in life, right? So, let's see. Mm. Yeah, we'll call this flip rotation and then flip spin. Get our transform ease, and let's see, we'll serialize this field too. And this is a flip spin easer. Oh, come on, I did not ask for this. <laughs> Can I comment this out? Are we using this? I don't think we are. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's move these two up here. And we are going to need two quaternions again. Oh, hold on a moment. I drew those graphs wrong. This is the speed. But if we were thinking about this as zero to one, like our graphs are, one being fully translated or fully lerped, fully eased, and zero being starting point, this is going to look terrible. It'll be like, no, it'll go all the way around almost, and then go back to zero, and then quickly back all the way around, and then back to zero. Talk about vomit inducing. That is not what we want. So let's think of a better graph for these. The idea is we get to the middle point quickly, and then we wait for a long period of time, and then we go up sharply to the end. And with the spin on axis, we do nothing, and we go sharply up in the middle, and then we end it as a long set of one. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll test it out and see what's going on. 
But this is tricky now because we have a whole bunch of transforms to smoosh together. But you know, actually, we don't have a transform. We have one quaternion, which is a rotation that's going from here to here. So basically forward to forward, start to end, and that is our flip rotation. And then our flip spin is the forward of the camera, and we're rotating it 180 degrees. <laughs> it's so hard to do with hands. Let's use Mr. Toblerone box. So this is forward. This is right. I am spin. Hopefully that was on camera. I'm afraid I just like did it way out here. Spin. Okay. So it is possible flip rotation. So let's come down here and let's disallow other easings during a camera flip. So if either of these are happening, we're just going to return. <coughs> and all we're really supposed to do here is calculate our start and our ending points. We know that the jump teleport seems, in quotes, to work all. Aims to work fine. So let's name this. This is our flip rotation start. Wonder if I could have templatized this. Hmm. Templatize the easing function. So I noticed that a whole bunch of stuff have like a start and a target. But I think they're they're slightly different for each one. Well here's a start and an end. Previous and target. Start and end. Uh, to do consider generalizing these take in different types. But the great part about ease is that it just returns a curve output. I don't know. I don't know. Quaternion. Start, flip, rotation. And 
end flip rotation. And so our start flip rotation is going to be a forward, correct? Oh, you know what? We're still dealing with the camera offset direction. This is the thing that we're actually How are we using this? In our rotate, we slurp between these two rotations. How do we set these? That rotation. We set them in the update. We just get the rotation, rotate the transform, and end. Okay. There we go. So now we have the start and the end. And I guess let's just clip rotation easer dot begin ease. Flip rotation easer, take our curve output, semicolon at the end. Oh, uh, this needs to be update. And let's see. So we're basically going to do a very similar thing here actually almost exactly the same. Exactly the same. Hmm. To do extract this and the rotate user into separate function. Let's see if this works before I extract anything. Flip rotation easer and and this is just going to be the same. Oh my. Okay, yep. I'm glad I didn't extract it. We have different things to slurp here. Although that would be solved by genericizing this class. <gasps> and let's not for forget to call update. We sure have a lot of these easers in this class. I am very glad I made it. It has cleaned up a lot of code. And still our camera is only 240 lines of code. We can get rid of this too. I remember not needing that. 
<laughs> Are we ready to test? I am terrified, but let's give it a shot. Oh, before I do that, in awake. Should we do target distance equals previous distance equals start distance? Yeah, let's rename this start distance. Okay. Whoa, that's so wrong. Okay. Oh my. What's going on there? Calculate camera offset direction. Multiply by start distance. Oh, I renamed the variable. That's what went wrong. Where are you, camera? Six. Sure. <laughs> so this did flip. Um, let's see if it lurks itself. No, it does not. Camera offset transform. So this is the full rotation. Back. Gin ease on update ease. Camera offset transform. Let's do a print curve. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> so our flip rotation easer. Let's say a fourth of the time gets to halfway. And then it takes another point to twenty percent of the time to get here. And then it goes all the way to here. Yeah, that looks about right. That's worth saving. And we'll say that the duration is 0.5, sure. Whoa, that was way wrong. Why are you not easing? I feel like I'm running out of time. <laughs> Nothing. Did we not tell you to begin? And we did. Flip rotation easer begin.
Oh, no, let's not do that. Let's put it here. Hmm. Okay, we are attached. Bing. There we go. Begin ease. Step in. Is easing true? Timer is zero. Neato burrito. So now we should be able to F5 to here. Go into update. Is easing is true. The duration should be 0.5. Oh. Duration is zero. Oh, I'm dumb. I was looking at this 0 0.5. Dang it. Let's watch it. Well, <laughs> it's doing stuff, that's for certain. <laughs> oh, shoot. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is bad. One more check in our camera controller. Oh, we want to make sure also let's move this up here. Oh, we should move it even above the there we go. So that will make Let's rename this to is using other easings. Okay. Well, we kind of did a thing. It's definitely not there yet. 0 0.05 is really bad too. Let's do a two second. But I think that's it for today. We made a little bit of progress on our camera system. Yeah, okay. So when we come back tomorrow, we're going to hopefully get our spin working, and we also need to make sure that this quaternion doesn't realign itself halfway through the job. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.